From WTDG Toledo, Bridges, with your host, Donnie Miller, connecting our community with information about issues and opportunities. Hey, good Sunday morning and welcome to Bridges. My name is Donnie. Well, if you've not ever heard of John Henry Livingston and World Win U, you should know all about him. And I guarantee you that today, before you leave, you'll want to know more about John Henry Livingston. He is our guru in this town when it comes to developing the young mind of kids. We are um, talking about a conference that he held just a few days ago at the University of Toledo, an outstanding conference where the topic was taking your imagination seriously, unlocking the doors to your creativity, and it's all about having young folks understand the value of developing a life plan and how that gets their dreams accomplished. And we are so happy to have my friend John Henry with us this morning. Welcome. Good morning, Donnie. Thank you so much for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing incredible. Well, boy, what a journey it's been to uh, get to this point and, and um, you know, be able to kind of do some things um, that we didn't get when we came up, and that is, you know, how do you engage young people in, in a way that is so unique and allow them to connect in that experience, and, and um, <clears throat> that's why I'm so grateful that you're having me here to kind of talk about this life plan and developing a life plan and, let and me, what they really need. Sure. Let me interrupt sure. for just a second. The reason that this is such an important conversation is that we spend so much time lately talking about uh, the, the difficult situations that kids find sure. themselves in, the sure. violence that are taking away sure. lives, sure. and the, you know, the abuse that happens when we make wrong choices or difficult choices. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and, and this is a way to say to folks, look, you really have some control over your destiny. And if it's in your head, you can probably make that happen. You're absolutely so. right. You know, sometimes I think, and, and, and then we'll get into life plan, but let's touch on that in just a minute. You know, in the world of motivation, low self-esteem can trigger the imaginations to still dream the wrong dream. And so when, when people are driven or are motivated to do the wrong thing, they don't realize that there's an option of how they can use their drive. And so in the world of fantasy and dreaming, you have young people and even young adults who, because life does not appear to be successful, they still have to satisfy that, that drive or that desire to want to do something with their talent, whatever it is. And so sometimes when that drive is not controlled, if you will, then that's when you find people doing things, you know, that are so out of character and so... Um, strange to a lot of us, but it's that drive that we're all gifted with or given in the beginning that is not being projected or dealing with challenges in, in the right way, which births the things like the iPad and, and cell phones and all those different things. And so unfortunately, um, we're not able to, we're not getting into their world and understanding how they think and showing them that their potential is far greater than what they're using it. And that's really, in a, in a short term, a suffering of low self-esteem. You know, they're still achieving great things, it's just in the wrong channel, it's just in the wrong area of life. And so um, I think it becomes even more challenging for those of us who have influence versus leadership. Mm -hmm. And how do we use that to engage their world, though? I mean, it's not, it's not what we understand and maybe what we're privileged to know and where we've arrived in life, but how do we take this journey that we've, that we've been on and, and, and whatever success we've experienced, how do we take that what life has taught us and then engage them in their world. Well, let's let's use that particular point as a as a, a jumping off point to talk sure. about the, the, the conference yeah. that mm -hmm. we just had sure. um, a few days ago. Marvelous event. Mm -hmm. If you missed it, too bad for you, but you're doing this every year, every right? Year. You missed e an amazing opportunity for um, great speakers, great interaction by some of our community leaders. John LeClaire from Fifth Third Bank. Well, yeah, um, three years ago. So let me kind of uh, do a real back yeah, go back a little bit. Three years ago, I um, well, in fact, about seven years ago, I had a chance to meet Robert Leclaire, who's the president of Fifth Third, and we talked about doing something different and unique on leadership. And 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 even though I met him seven years ago, it really took about three or four four years from that point to really get to a point where I can really go back to him with something I think of substance. Okay, so then I had the privilege of meeting this amazing leadership development organization called Root Learning. So now my, my, my motive was, how do I get in here? Right. You know, because they really do some fan, uh, um, fantastic things on engagement. Great reputation. Great reputation. International reputation. Yeah. Okay, and, um, and so the gatekeeper there, her name is Wanda, 
you know, asked me, well, what do you need? And I told her, don't you know that she hooked me up to get, to get a chance to meet a lady named Robin Klein, who was the senior vice president, who came to the event, engaged the executives, and um, we talked about a lot of things, but then we got on the, on, on the path of talking about teenagers and leadership, and that began our journey together. And because Root does things internationally on leadership, then we were able to collaborate and come up with a concept that would allow us to create an all-day event on leadership and engage young people through this learning map called Life Plan that Root Learning developed for a mentoring organization called the California Mentoring Institute. So that's kind of how the relationship began. The goal, though, is really to give kids the um, assessment, the tools that they need mm -hmm. for self-assessment, self-development. Yes, and, and not only that, not only self-assessment, but if I can pull this out, one of the things that, that, that if students go through, is, it's Life Plan is a nine-module self-discovery learning system, okay? So we take, you know, ultimately we take the children through all of the nine modules. So each module is about an hour to two hours, depending on how much time is allocated. And they really are taught how to put together their own life plan, how to really connect with themselves, understand the, the, the decisions they've made so they'll make smarter decisions in the future. And it's all done by using this visual learning map that Root has, has, has um, produced. And I think what's important is, is, is as a trained facilitator for this, um, you don't tell the student what to do. The, the way that the program is designed is, is that you enga the students are engaged in the process. And the engagement process causes the students to recognize some things about themselves and each other that they never knew. So, so part of um, what happened last Wednesday was that kind of exposure and that kind of teaching for them through, though, the use of um, interaction um, Absolutely. With, with CEOs, area CEOs? Paramount, paramount, paramount. You know, what was interesting is, and, and the young people didn't even understand what was going on. We had um, young, young people went through a presentation by Larry Burns of University of Toledo, who has been with me since the beginning. So yeah. kudos He's to Larry Burns. Guy. He's a yeah. great guy. He's a great guy. And so Larry did this exercise mm -hmm. on the power of you. Then we had two marketing students from the University of Toledo who did a session on social media. And, if, and, and they really, I was surprised how, how they engaged the students with different questions, but they showed um, how social media can be dangerous if you're not careful. You can put up images and different things not knowing that one day your employer is going to track you down. You know, that's so important. I was so happy to see that when we went through some of the topics. Let me just okay, sure, tell sure. folks some of the topics okay. that you guys ha um, had that day. Taking your dreams and your imagination seriously. Mm -hmm. Fabulous, fabulous. Protecting your brand mm -hmm. and leadership. All three of those um, right on point in terms of uh, their importance to moving kids forward in in their career mm -hmm. and the one that I thought was particularly interesting was the protecting your brand because when you go out on Facebook which I, I rarely do but I do mm -hmm. on occasion you go out on Facebook and you see that kids are putting up all kinds of things that in the long run are going to do them far more damage than and, they, and the thing is they don't realize it. They, they don't, don't realize they that. don't know right. they don't know it and the students who present it the, the reason I um, got in contact with them Larry Burns, as we were the, as we're working on some some very interesting, I think unique things uh, at, at at UT with their light, with their blue and gold program. Um, these students said when they came out of high school, they did not realize that their Facebook activities and things they were putting up were trackable until they went to this PR convention. And at this PR convention that they went to, because they're in marketing, they discovered that they literally the people that were there pulled up their Facebook, yep, and their Twitter, and said, "This is the future world." It opened up their eyes to understand, you know, if you are playing around on Facebook, you're playing with your future. Absolutely. And it's dangerous. So that, that was really cool. So, so all of you out there who think that it's just fun to play on Facebook, listen to what I'm saying to you. It is now a serious tool used to assess your your suitability for all kinds of things in, in this country, Absolutely. all kinds of things, and if you don't, employment being one of them. And so. if you don't give them your Facebook and their code, that lets them know that, 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 that something's out there, something's that, out there you that you don't want, want them to see. see. So we've got to be careful in protecting so our we, So we put these kids, you guys put these kids um, in an environment which really saturated them that day mm -hmm. with the importance of leadership skills, mm -hmm. um, understanding that everything they do is important. Absolutely. And, and encouraging them all the time to put that in the context of using their imagination to propel their careers forward. Here's what was interesting. Um, 
none of the, the students nor the executives really knew how the whole thing was going to, to unfold because we had students sitting in one area right next to the executives that were sitting in another area and both groups were being taken through the same exercise by root learning. So here you had executives under pressure a little bit because you have young people who are watching your leadership skills mm -hmm. while at the same time the young people were learning where their leadership skills. So as each exercise was completed, obviously they got to watch one another. Then we brought the executives partnered. So the last exercise we did was the, the executives partnered with the youth on the last exercise. And then if you remember, then, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna tell them what you did, but, but, um, <laughs> but then, then we, um, uh, when the students were prepared to present, we took around a hat with the names of all the CEOs in it, and then they had to reach in, pick out the CEO's name, and then make their presentation to who we call the gatekeepers. Right, and it was fun. That was fun, yeah. It was fun, it was fabulous. What, what do you think the major block is to kids understanding that they have control over their own future? I think, I think engaging um, young people um, in their world, which is one of the reasons we did social media, because that's the world that they live in. And so we have to find a way to expose them to other opportunities, like maybe young people are doing Facebook and Twitter. Are they familiar with LinkedIn? You know, LinkedIn is more professional and different things like that. So I think today, when you're engaging young people with unlimited potential, you really, it, 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 it really stretches our leadership ability to, to get into their world and be willing to get into their world and to develop that relationship, then create that bridge. The thing I like about the life plan learning uh, a visual map is that it's a visualization of their life. And so as they're going, as they're going through making their, their life plan, if you will, they're looking at the different images. They're looking at what their dream is and, and, and what happens if you make the wrong decision and how you can end up on the cliff and, and how you, and, the, and if you end up, if you end up on the cliff, that's where your potential and dream is. Up as well. It goes with you. Sure. Yeah, hold that thought. We're okay. going to be right back. we got to go away for just a second, but I promise you we will be back with John Henry Livingston. Hang tight.